What's going on YouTube? Troublesome here, back with another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Let's jump right in. Uh, we got the Aventador. And here's the engine for the Aventador. And we're going to build it. So, I did some asking around today on... You know what, I'm going to leave that rotated. I did some asking around today on Discord about this model. And it was made by a guy... The username of Lit. L I T. Like Lit Fam. Like they say. Like the kitties say. So, <clears throat> I never interacted with this guy. Uh, I've interacted with most of the guys that have made these mods, but not this one. So, um, one of the guys said he's probably a one and done type of modder, which is fine, I guess. Whatever. It is what it is. So I don't I don't know this guy. I've never talked to him, but I will put a link to this mod down in the description below. Um, so you can do it yourself if you want. If you want, if you want. It's a nice model. No hate. It used to get hate, I guess, because the doors opened normally. They weren't scissor. And I guess the guy fixed that part. But that's that's my story I'm sticking to it so here we are as I told you yesterday we are going to uh, 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 we are gonna build this engine I'm gonna put performance parts on it I don't know how many horses I can get out of it I bet I can't get maybe 700 something my minus is being that there is no supercharger I think I'm gonna struggle getting much more than that out of it um i can't remember if i've done a build on this style engine before or not this overhead cam overhead valve dealio but i think i did one and i think it was 700 and something horse but i don't remember it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and then we're going to take a first spin. We're going to see if it's all-wheel drive, first of all, because I really hope it is. Uh, see how it hooks and see if we can get a top speed run out of it. Because any time I've ever tried to do a top speed run, I've been thwarted by traction. Some of these cars with upwards of a thousand horsepower are completely uncontrollable. This one may be the... Oh, oh. This one may be the exception to that rule. Oh, man. Oh, sharp shooting. Sharp shoot. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. After today, I'm going to take a break from Car Mechanic Simulator for at least a day because I need to shoot a update on another game I've been playing. <clears throat> Good lord. Crap in my throat much? I want to do another update on a game I've been playing called Bottle Pilgrim. Developer sent me a message after my last video and said that he made an update for me. Well, maybe not for me, but he made an update that made one specific part a little bit easier to get through. Not as insanely time-consuming and impossible. And I'm going to... Uh, I told him I would do an update video. It's a little indie game. Oh, that's what... This thing always tricks me, this throttle body. Because I can never take the intake manifold off or the heads off, and I can never figure out why. So anyway, he, he told me that he made this mod, or this mod, this this uh, change to the game. Uh, and it's a change based on something I was whining about. Because there's a part in the game that's impossibly hard to get through. It's not hard, it's just time consuming. And I don't have that kind of time for a casual game. It, it was just, it's finding stuff and it doesn't matter. If you watch the videos, you watch them. That's great. If you don't, you don't. It's an indie game. It's a neat little game. I enjoy it. I enjoy those indie games uh, when they're done with some purpose. And this guy has, I think, done this game with purpose. But if you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, don't. Don't care. Uh, but then I need to get back into this because I've got so many mods to get through on this game. B 
but I also need to get back on Beam and G and check out and see what mods are out for it now because that's one of those communities that just never stops. The Beam and G community, modding community, is just rampant. And that game is two, three years old, maybe. It's incredible. If you've never played that game, man, try it. Beam and G Drive specifically is what I'm talking about. It is a uh, driving simulator, basically, with what they call, I believe, soft model physics. Okay, let's grab it. I gotta go get the engine lift because I moved it, because I'm an adult. It's so hard. To, oh god, it's so hard to get that sucker. I'm gonna get you, sucker. fix. Um, okay. Hopefully all these will fix. I can just throw them in, put the new air filter on, and be good. Looking good. It looked good. Muy caliente. that little clip. Okay, let's do this. Let's put some oil in it and let's go underneath it. Ooh, radiator. Missed that. Missed the fragging crap out of that. All right, don't need that no more. Radiator. What's the other thing? All oh, these fans. Ooh. <laughs> See if I got one. Holy shit, I do. <laughs> I bet I don't have this. Nope, I don't have that. Well, you know, two out of or one out of two ain't bad, I guess. Okay, I think that's it. Me thinks, me thinks, me thinks, me thinks. Transmission, drive shaft. Oh no. Oh no. How did I do this before? How did I do this before? I guess this is how I did it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I did it. Oh god. God, no, don't take that off. Now, see, this guy wasn't quite as meticulous as Mr. Payne because he did not line that up to make it look like a transaxle. No hate, though. Still, way better than I could have ever done. What's that up there? That is the drive shaft. Now, if you remember when I started this, I said I wasn't going to do performance or something. I didn't care. I changed my mind, so now I have to put this high-pressure fuel pump in there. So, that is maxed out on the performance parts. And I believe 
it's all back together. Let's see. Now, we figured out yesterday that that, well, we didn't, I don't know if I figured anything out, but I did learn that I can't figure out how to get this body to 90, to 100%. It's 99. I went through everything. Everything else is 100. Looking good, looking good. I do not know where that 1% is. I do not know where I'm lacking it. It's like torture. 44,000 miles. Car value, 208,000. Honestly, guys, I don't know if I made any money on that at all. Because I was 170000 in before I even started this. Anyway, let's see what it does on the old dyno -mometer. After we paint it white. After I paint it white. White. Oh, that's red. White. White. Ooh, black. Ooh. Pearl white. No livery. Love it. Okay, we're going to see what this thing makes. Here we go. It's not. I guess I didn't click it. Here we go. Looks like 340 horses out of the box. 598. 600. So it doesn't quite live up to that LP700 on the name badge but it's not bad we'll deal we'll deal so there it is guys the Lamborghini Aventador LP 700 for I don't know what that four stands for honestly don't I bet that means four-wheel drive I don't really know if anybody knows post a comment what I Oh, I wish I could get rid of that icon for just a second so I can get a screenshot. Anyway, if you know what that four means, post a comment. Let me know what it means. I don't know what it means. Okay, before I take this to the test track, I want to open it up so you can see. It does have the scissor doors. They come out a little ways, and I don't know if the Vince door does that or not. Like the Countach, they just went straight up because of the way everything was cut, but this car's a little more comfortable. So they may swing out a little bit like that, I don't know. Never seen, actually I have seen an Aventador in real life, but it was driving and the doors obviously weren't open. So um, let's take it for a spin. Okay, we're gonna take it for a spin here because uh, racetrack's bad, bad. Now the way this thing hooks up, I think it is all wheel drive. Don't it look like it? Okay, here we go. Top speed run. I'm going to try it. Two ninety-two. Broken. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Links in the description below for the mod. That is the Lamborghini Aventador. If you like this video, hit that like button, please. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I drop new videos daily or near daily. Okay, guys. Let's try to make this Wednesday a good one. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you later.